Dude, I can't. How are you doing that after eating all that? <laughs> My sister is so mean to me. No wonder we we haven't seen each other in years. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am here with my hermana, Karen, aka I Love Sarai. You guys know I love her to death. I feel like I drop her name in my videos all the time because I love this woman. We're and long lost sisters. We're long lost sisters. Separated at birth. I mean, we get the question all the time if we're actually sisters. We'll leave oh, it yeah. a mystery. Oh, um, well, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We're reminiscing on childhood snacks. These are all very um, Mexican-based <laughs> childhood this stuff. This stuff we grew up with. Low-key, I still eat this stuff, though. Um, so it's gonna be like, a, is it a mukbang? Mukbang? Mukbang, yeah. It's, it's a mukbang. eating our favorite childhood, childhood snack. snacks. And mm. over on Karen's channel, she transformed me into her, as yes. you guys can see. Yes, we I'm wearing false lashes. This hasn't happened. Very rare, very, very rare. rare. <laughs> So definitely, before you guys click out of this video, make sure to check out her channel. I'll link everything down below for you guys. And without further ado, we're just gonna get right into it because we are hungry That's good. and, and always waiting for food. <laughs> Sebas is waiting for food. <laughs> well, I'm gonna start by putting lime on the chicharrones. Shh, listen to that quick. What's it called? Um, SMR? Yeah. Low key S SMR. Load it up, load it up. I mean, any like more this shit. Oh my God, you got a little crazy there. I was like, <laughs> there goes this white, Ugly sweater. Karen and Sebas both judge me for this canned menudo. You know, I've only had Juanita, homemade menudo. Juanita it's brand. actually not that bad. I've had only homemade men menudo. This is pretty good though. But are you team menudo or team pozole? Pozole, I have to. I think I'm team pozole also, mm -hmm. but from the can, I like the menudo. <laughs> we didn't even grab any napkins, huh? Your clothes just wipe them over. I'm eating um, a tortilla de harina. This is something I grew up my whole life with. Like my grandma used to make these de la mano, her hand. Wow. My whole life and I've always had them. I would literally like inhale like seven of them at a time. And now we're on a diet so we only yeah, do one unfortunately, for the camera. Unfortunately, but I feel like if you buy them from a bag, it's not the same. Like they no. have to be homemade. Another snack that I really love and I grew up with is <laughs> weenies <laughs> with just like the patio and lime. I don't know if you guys have ever had this before, don't judge me. I really actually don't even eat that much meat, but for some reason I will eat weenies still. Weenies and bologna. Bologna. <laughs> bologna. I used to do this too. I mean, I basically tapatio and limes were always a staple. Yeah, that's pretty much all we're eating here. Even Valentina is really good too. Valentina is really good. Um, we like the yucateco. Have you tried yucateco? Mm -mm. Oh my god, really so spicy. You guys have to try this, honestly. Sanchichas con tapatio y limones. But why is it so good? The weenie. I didn't. <laughs> Hashtag, the weenies. It said weenies on there, it doesn't even say. Does it, does the package say weenies? It says weenies. I'll bring it upstairs right now. Does anyone else call it weenies? Comment down below. This is legit bimbo bread. If you're not down with bimbo bread, then I think you're missing out on life because bimbo bread, you can literally make a pillow out of bimbo bread. It's you so can. soft. There's just something so good about bimbo bread, cheese, and bologna, so. M-A-O. You need something to balance out all the spice. I feel like we've been eating yeah, all this spicy. Is, this is like my life, but my dad would actually cut the crust off for me. <laughs> it's just so nostalgic for me right now, like eating this. It reminds me of being in like school, like elementary. My, and this is what I would have. They would make me sandwiches like this and a bag of like Doritos. I was gonna say a bag of Doritos. No, mine was always um, Fritos. <laughs> Who took the Doritos? Your mom probably took I don't know, but I always got Fritos in my bag and I was so upset because I hated Fritos. No, I'd always get the red Doritos and then sometimes you'd run out and they'd give me the blue ones and I wouldn't eat them, but. I, this is like my life right here. It's like my family didn't realize our diet had zero vegetables in it. Yeah, <laughs> this is a menudo. I'm gonna eat the hominy. Do you like the, what's it called? Is it lengua? No, I, no, stomach's it's coming. Oh. So my next favorite snack is one that like I still eat till this day and I feel like my my mom always has them. Like we always have them all the time, but it's the churritos. It's just like a corn stick, I can't explain it. But you pretty much squeeze a ton of lime, like no etiquette needed here, you just squeeze. Like you wanna see the lime juice at the bottom of the bag? Yeah. This is what I would eat, or also cacahuates. Cacahuates are my favorite ever. Like you could do the same thing and just put lime and tapatio. Normally I put a lot more, but we've been like drenching it everywhere. Dude, I think I'm gonna have a stomachache because the amount of tapatio is like- You can't have tapatio? No, I love tapatio, but we've been having like everything has that tapatio on it. Like yeah, literally been, everything. So bad. We worked out for no reason today. And you know what, I feel like this isn't even like, even like a percentage of like half the snacks. There's so many more snacks that we were like, damn it. 
we don't have the ingredients or we don't know how to make it. I don't know how to make it, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, my mom um, never used the Ziploc baggies because they were too expensive. Uh -huh. She used the sandwich baggies that fold over. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking Aww, about? Yeah. That's what she would put my chips in. That's so cute. So my sandwich would be in that bag and so would be my Frito. <laughs> the next snack that I'm gonna talk about is a little weird, guys. She is so... <laughs> She is I'm so, over here enjoying my bologna sandwich. She is so terrified to try it, but it's actually one of my favorite snacks ever, and I still love it. It's just a chicken top ramen, right? All right, we're, we're cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some soy sauce. I love soy sauce inside of the ramen. <laughs> <laughs> a piece of my, my noodle just flew out of my mouth. Wait, just that noise, you should hold that. You should hold that into the mic. <laughs> Like not a Mexican related snack. This is a Karen related snack. I don't know why your parents didn't stop you from eating this. <laughs> My dad gave it to me. And then you add a can of tuna. In. <laughs> it's so good. Don't judge me. I'm crying. It's even worse than when she described it to me. I'm like, it's not that bad. So how do you eat it? <laughs> you mix it all in. <laughs> this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, babe. You're gonna try this first, okay? Has you tried it before? No, but it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's not bad. I told you. Get a piece of tuna, bitch. <laughs> no, you gotta get like hella tuna. <laughs> you really gotta try it. Ready? Here. It's good, bitch. <laughs> Exactly what it smells like. <laughs> no. I don't know what kind of childhood you have. But... It's not good. I'm just gonna stare at you while you eat it. It tastes like clam chowder time. <laughs> I have a memory that involves those. What? It's actually kind of traumatizing. So this is the reason why as soon as I have to go pee, like I'll go, I won't hold it for a really long time because one time I was at the after school program and I must have been like in fourth grade, fifth grade. And I remember getting one of these and like I was like so like stoked on life eating these. I was like down to like little soggy bits. Like I was really <coughs> like pretty much done eating these. And I remember suddenly having to go pee. But like I think I was like the last kid, like one of the last two kids left and everything was closed. Like all the bathrooms, like everything was done. Like basically I was supposed to leave. I was wearing a squirt so like there was nothing to hold back that piece. I was just sitting in like a puddle of peas. So, like my last memory of these was like a good memory Aww. and like a bad memory. You guys, I think I got full. Are you? I'm just like so full. We, we still have dessert. a lot. I know. We still have a lot of stuff to go through. Find out Karen doesn't like tres leches. I don't. I'm the probably only Mexican that does not like tres leches. I don't know what it is. It's that texture. It's soggy. Do the soggier the tres leches. You like soggy stuff. See, I don't like soggy things. I don't really think like. We see, like these, now that they're soggy, now I'm eating okay, them. See, like, I like, 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 okay, She would go for this one right here. Yes. <laughs> and then I'll go for this one right here that's like nice. You fed me so gracefully. Just there. Are you <laughs> farting? <laughs> Did you do a ramen tuna for it? Feel bad for Sebas later. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It's still a one through ten. One through ten. One being the worst. Like a four. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not that bad. Comment down below, guys, if you've ever had that. It's so good. I'm not weird. Yeah, poopery. I do. I have a lot of poopery. Poopery is clutch. Like one time I was going through airport security. And my bag got pulled over because it always does. So the girl pulls me over and she's doing like the deep inspection, the thorough inspection on my bag. She's like, girl, you're prepared. <laughs> she's like, you're gonna go see a man. I'd always carry it in my bag and I swear it helped me so many times. Even Sebastian, like when you travel especially and you're like sharing a house with people or a hotel room with people, you know, it's you have to do that. You just have to, it just protects you. So in high school, we would always get the puffs and go to a 7-Eleven and then open it up and just pour nacho cheese in there. So Hot gonna, nacho cheese. So we got nacho cheese and we're just gonna do that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> a little cold, but they're fine. This spoon candy. I was in um, Tijuana recently with my family and before crossing the border, we picked up like a bag of those mm -hmm. and ours looked way more like Authentic. I brought it home and Kyle goes, 
is that like drugs on a spoon? Like he thought it was like drugs and I'm like, what do you mean? Mexicans are just like really handy because once you're done eating your candy, you have a spoon that you can use to eat other food with. It is, it's a spoon of tamarindo, that's what it is. This one's a little spicy compared to the other ones, but I like it. These are like my jam for real. Like I used to live off of these. Okay, we got cacahuates, we have galletas de maria. Is this, was this used for the tuna? No. We still have a lot of stuff. We still got ruffles, we still got lays, and I don't even know. We got All stuff. I know is I'm doing like weekly trips to Vallarta from now on. It's everything there. Like you can find everything. We get a lot of our stuff there. So. And have a lot of like Mexican specialty items too. Mm -hmm. I can't with that cake. Can I smell it? I just want to smell it. It's a texture that throws me off. See, I just love, why do I like soggy things? You like things? soggy things. I can't with soggy stuff, guys. Like mushrooms are weird. Olives you are like weird. like mushrooms? I like olives too. No, I don't like the texture. It's like mushrooms and olives remind me if someone took a chunk of your skin off and like let it there and like <laughs> soggy, like weird. That is so just, that is it's so, that is like so wrong. It's the truth. I'm really not a picky eater. I sound like I am, but I'm really not. I just. I mean, just... she's eating tuna and ramen. <laughs> so when my mom would ask me what I wanted for a birthday cake, it was always this mm -hmm. like It's basically like a vanilla, like a white cake. And it's got evaporated milk, condensed milk, and heavy cream. And it's like drenched. So the bottom of it is like kind of soggy. And I live for that. Mm -hmm. Which my final dessert that I'm going to make Karen try. No. Actually, I do like it. I like chips so high, but she wants to make it soggy. Like, why? I didn't even realize that about myself. So I liked everything soggy. Yeah. Are you team soggy or team rock hard? <laughs> Are you team? That's what she said. <laughs> Technically, I go both ways. So. <laughs> Dude, what's up with this chair? Oh! Did it break? Oh. oh. Karen ate so much tuna and ramen. She yeah. Broke, she broke the chair. Yeah. I'm still looking for this bala flocorico song. <laughs> it came on during Narcos, and I was like, Kyle was tripping because I got up and I started doing the dance and he was like, we have neighbors below us because it's like a little stompy. You got it. Go, go. You got it, girl. Good job. I'm sweating. Girl, you got it. You just worked the hard I just worked off all say. that. We just like massively were just shoving everything in our mouth and I feel like I'm literally going to... I don't even want to do the cookies with the milk. Really? You know why? Because we snacked on everything while we were making it. <laughs> no, we're going to eat it. Ew, look at Z. What? Why is it soggy? <laughs> okay, but like, no, look at look at this food, baby. Look at my stomach. Look, I look pregnant. Oh, yeah. Are you? No. Uh... <laughs> oh my God, what do you have in? <laughs> A husky. <laughs> Our work here is done. We're full. So we're gonna end the video here. Um, if you guys like the makeup that I am wearing, Karen did transform me into her with her beautiful new collection with ColourPop called Through My Eyes. Check it out. Watch that tutorial for, uh, or um, to see how I got this look or how we got this look. I think that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Que pasa? No, I can't take them off like that. I always use a lash. Can I do it? No. <laughs> Please. No, no, no. Fine, no, I'll be no, gentle. No. I'll do it. How do you wear these? No. <laughs> You're fine.